Hello, I wanted to give you a little more help on the last question of assignment 2, question 12. Uh, here we're trying to determine the uh, UTM coordinates of a particular location on a topo map. So, um, so I have here a map open and the location that we're interested in is the intersection of Page Mill and Woody Road. Uh, so the first thing you want to do, and uh, this is based on just my measurements, you want to change the uh, zoom level to 107. And that seems to be what works best. It most closely approximates the printed version of the map. Okay, then um, you can go here, look at the tools. And we probably won't see the measuring tool, so you have to go to more tools, open that up, and then see measure, choose open. And then the measuring tool now shows up on your screen. Okay, then uh, we click on that. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to measure this distance from the edge of the grid to the point that we're interested in. Um, so let me start by uh, putting my point here. Then I'm going to hold down the shift key. When I hold down the shift key, uh, then it'll, it will constrain the measurement so that I get a horizontal measurement. It, constrain, it const constrains them to 45 degrees. So let me click on that. And now I'm getting a measurement. Unfortunately, uh, we've got, you only get it in um, the English system. I wish we could change it to the metric system, but I found a way to do that. So my measurement, and again, I'm holding down the shift key so I get a horizontal line. Um, it says 0 0.8, 0 0.8 inches. Okay, so what do I do with that? Well, what I really want to know is that 0 0.8, what proportion is that of the whole square of the whole box on that grid? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure that distance as well. Okay, so I'm going to uh, I can just click here and that fixes that measurement. Well, I guess I need to double click. Uh, it says 0.81 now, but we really want 0.8. It's the original measurement. And I'm going to make another measurement for the whole length of this grid, of this particular box. Okay, so again, I hold the shift key down. I click on it. And I'm going to go all the way across the next intersection here, and I get 1.64. Okay, so I can just click there, that holds it. So that's 1.64. Okay, so basically, the two measurements that I got, and uh, let's see, there we go. So that's 1.64. This one got tilted, so that's why it says 0.81, but really, we got 0.8. So now the, the question is, 0.8 is what 0.64? Okay, because once we have that, then we will know uh, how to get our coordinates. So I'm going to switch over to the calculator here and type in 0.8. <coughs> I'm sorry. Divide that by 1.64. And we see our answer here is 0 0.48. I'm, I'm going to uh, to uh, round it to three significant figures. So that would be 0.488. Okay, 0.488. So I know that this distance is 1.64 distance in real life or on ground on the ground units. That would be 1,000 meters. Okay, so even though I made my measurements in the English system, all I wanted was so now I proportion, which is uh, 0.488.
So basically, all I need to do is multiply that 0.488. Okay, so that's our answer there. I'm going to multiply 0.488 times a thousand meters. And of course, when I do that, I get 488 meters. So 488 meters is this, this. Okay, distance from the grid to the point that we're interested in. And my very last step, I need to add that 488 to this. Remember, this value means 573,000. This is in thousands. So my x coordinate is going to be 573,488. I hope uh, this helps.